Hope you're all still awake. Late night, Mega here. And while we're starting things off here, for the last time, now it's a uh, karate chop that is on the chopping block. I'm going to miss that joke, but I do need a better move. There we go. And we are ready to press forward. Hey, you, we're trying to press forward. Stop us. Uh, some TMs are very rare and very expensive, especially since you can only use them once. Birdkeeper Beck. That's got to be a quick claw. That's got to be not enough power. Did I get two quick claws in a row, or is Swirly just, you know, that fast? I mean, I know last time I talked about, you know, doing Swirlies quickly and all that, but... That seems a little bit unlikely. In future games, uh, the game does indicate, um, one way or another, you know, when Quick Claw is activating and when it isn't. Well, I mean, when it isn't, it's just, the just battle just progresses like it normally would have if we weren't holding a Quick Claw. But either you'll get, like, the Pokemon will do a little shake, rattle and roll. Uh, before uh, using the quick claw to move first, or it will, um, or you might get a message that says, "Oh, quick claw, let it move first or something. But uh, yeah, here we're not getting that. This, oh, it's been a while since we missed from from that. A far fetch. We can actually trade for one of those. I believe in Vermilion City. They're not good. In fact, I'm not really sure why it exists, because it doesn't really do anything. Oh, I'm sorry, did that upset you? Uh, okay, maybe it can use Swords Dance. Sharply Rose means its attack went up two stages, not just one. Why am I this hurt already? Well, he is level 33, so it's about time to switch to another thing. You're not into it, but okay. Usually I like to intentionally just walk in front of the trees, because I like to see the exclamation mark appearing above their heads. There's no real purpose to it, um, other than that's what I like seeing. It's kind of like uh, Solid Snake when he gets, you know, surprised or... You know, he's trying to hide in the box, and the enemies catch on, and... Yeah. Uh, well, I know we can't one-shot this thing, so it really doesn't matter what we use. Do you have to hit five times? Now, a lot of people will say, like, oh, the AI always gets four or five attacks with those, uh, you know, two to five attack hit moves. And that's not always true. I mean, heck, just in the last part, we got some where they were doing two and three. Uh, so it's kind of just anecdotal evidence. This is a double battle. Jen. Let's try really, really hard together. Yay! That almost sounded wrong coming from me. Oh, it's Charmander and Squirtle. This will be perfect. Okay, you do that, and you... 
I guess just kill the Squirtle. You couldn't one-shot that? Okay, well, at least they're attacking Primate. And Squirtle's dead. And so is Charmander. Perfect. Surviving Brick Break with one Howl. Oh, Primate's 34. That's cool. Yes, you did. Uh, there are some bikers this way, too. Wide open spaces? It's not that wide open. You're, like, between trees. Ooh, coughings. Ooh, another level up. Ooh, a muck. He's gonna run a muck. That's a three hit kill. That's not good. Okay, well, it is time to switch out then. Um, Pharaoh. I choose you to get poisoned next. Wipe out. Okay, you know what? We're close enough that I'm just gonna... Fly to Fuchsia. It's right there. Yeah, we're going to run into some trainers that have some uh, drowsies. Uh, I believe there's trainer with like Oddish, Gloom, maybe Weeping Bell as well. Uh, there's some grass poison types coming up, is what I'm saying. You want to keep Ammonite away from grass poison types because. Uh, well, grass, if you put enough grass in your toilet, it will clog up, and then there's no more swirly fun for you. That's exactly what they were thinking when they made the Pokemon type chart. Well, you're not going to turn around? All right, Bellsprout, we don't need to fight you here. We'll fight you in the sky. Of course, your Pokemon like to do that. Stop doing that. Uh, it's just an Oddish. You know what? We're not going to... We're just gonna give the kill to Primeave, because it's not a bigger it's not a bigger thing. So I don't feel like risking um statuses. Ooh, Tangela. Uh yeah, we'll keep Primeave in. Of course you would. Yasmin, she was too impatient. Back to the Poké Center we go.
And back to the route. We've we've had quite a number of parts uh, now just with this training. But as I mentioned, I do want to show off all the trainer battles and whatnot. This would be this counts as normal travel through the game. Now I want your exclamation point. There we go. When I can, when, <laughs> when I whistle, I summon a swirly. <laughs> Oh man, your head is like perfect for that too. Surf can one shot this. I think. It better be able to. Man, only six more levels until it evolves. Ah, oh, great. Oh, okay, it didn't do anything. That works for me. Go Duo, that is going to be a faster Pokemon. Maybe that was a quick claw, maybe it wasn't, I don't know. I don't know at this point. And your turn. Yes. Yes, I am. Not sure why that would make your bird shiver, but... Okay. Chester. Whoa, hello there. Um... Let's try and slow you down. Dodrio, this is clearly uh, Doduo's evolution. If you couldn't have guessed it. It's another one of the many basic normal flying types that you see throughout the uh, entire Pokemon series. Normal flying is way too overpopulated of a type combination. So is water, and pretty much water with any other dual typing. Oh, it's filled with rage. Awesome. Okay, uh, Primate needs some levels now because Ammonite has actually out-leveled the thing. Sure, you can try them out on me. There's a good chance, though, they might die in one shot. Oh, it's Gloom. See, I told you someone around here was going to have a Gloom. It's a gloomy day for it. Here comes an Oddish. And another Oddish, okay. Not good enough, now we got some beauties. Okay, you do that. It's Olivia, and she also has grass types. Bulbasaur, I think she has an Ivasaur, too. Yeah, you can see if you had come through... Oh, cross-chop at 35, not 45. 
Uh, I still don't want cross chop. If I need more power in my fighting moves, low kick will probably get the job done. And there he goes, Ivasaur. It's best if you can just take those grass types out in one hit so they don't, uh... Oh yeah, after you lose, how about when you're losing? You give a lot of nice money. I should be checking on my money. Alright, back to Ammonite. Because this is about swirly training. We just have to achieve the perfect swirly. And don't ask me what that is, and, and <laughs> I don't think you want me making that up either. There goes Pidgeotto. Wigglytuff. I don't want to fight that. This is why I'm glad I have a fighting type. I do like fighting types in general. Fighting is just effective against so many different types. It's the only thing that is super effective against normal. Uh, it's super effective against steel, rock, um, dark, and ice. Oh, bikers. Let's see, look at that. All my cash? Why, are you going to give me all your cash? I'm expecting... 35,000 from you, then. I think we can go get Shadow Ball in this part. That'll give us a, a break from all this uh, trainer battling. Oh, it's a Grimer. Whatever will I do? Oh my, we're almost out of that. Oh, let's Mudshot it. We have not used this yet. And that's what Mudshot looks like. So now that the Grimer's all dirty, once you once you Mudshot uh, someone, you know, you throw a bunch of mud at your friend, then you give them a Swirly to clean them up. <laughs> you have the oh, we've achieved the perfect Swirly now. <laughs> oh, it's a wheezing. It's immune to ground because of its ability to levitate. Is not immune to critical hits, though. I only beat Biker Alex. Can't... You have more money than that. Don't even pretend. Um, actually, next up is another bike. That's another 5,000. This is why I like having a Pokemon with pickup. You just randomly get some really nice items, whether it's rare candies or nuggets. Yeah, yeah. I cannot complain about uh, the nice pickups this Meowth has been getting me. This Viker, however, has a lot of Pokemon. I don't necessarily mind that. But in the same regard... I don't really want to run out of surfs. Especially if I need to fight, like, another Weezing. I mean, granted, I have... I have other Pokémon. But I don't want to send out uh, Primeape against these things. It just won't go very well. And Grimer. Uh, let's see if we can get a flinch. Nope. I knew that was going to happen. This battle was just going way too well.
I want to see what her next trainer's going to Oh, her next trainer, we're going to go up there. Yeah, okay. So yeah, if you decide to uh, skip the bike path, um, going this way to get to Fuchsia City is going to be quite a long trek, especially when you constantly have to go back to the Pokemon Center uh, to heal off, you know, various statuses and just all the damage it's going to rack up, because uh, a lot of those uh, Pokemon, like the Pidgeys and the Rattatas that we've been finding, uh, they all know Quick Attack. They mostly weren't using it against me, but uh, I'm surprised we didn't get Quick Attacked a lot more than what we did, because I usually do. Oh, we haven't taken a capture on this route yet. I have you. I don't want you. I don't need to fight you. Uh, biker, biker, beauty, beauty. Not in that order. <laughs> Okay, um, Picnicker, this is a job for Primeape now. I have five gym badges, and most of these trainers don't have any. In fact, there's a cool thing you can do, I'll show you at the, uh, next, uh, this isn't a contact move. I'll show you at the next uh, gym we go to. Raichu, huh? I know we have Mudshot with Ammonite. I, I know that, but this is not what we're supposed to be doing with Ammonite. Darn it. Okay, it's going for Thunderbolt. That is fine. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty uh, comfortable with this team of five taking this team to the Elite Four. I think we can make it work. Thunderbolt and Thundershock. I'm just waiting for one of those to paralyze me. They only have a 10% chance of doing so. But, uh... You know how my luck has been. Okay, these are fighters. Oh, hi there, Meowth. Oh my gosh. The hits just keep coming. Uh, because they're both fighters. Or do I want to put Venusaur in there? Venusaur wouldn't be bad, but... Help me train my little brother. Oh, that's so cute. My little brother's pretty big and muscular. Crushkin, Ron and Maya. Oh, they have Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan. Very well. I have... I have two things with flying type attacks. There's Hitmonlee down. Hitmonchan has, obviously, Fire Punch. Uh, it's a punching Pokemon. It's like Fire Punch, Ice Punch, Thunder Punch. Uh, the problem with that is those punches are all special moves, since they're Fire, Ice, and Electric. And all Fire, Ice, and Electric moves are special attacks in this generation. And in the previous two generations. So that means it's being based off of its low special attack stat. Hi there. I read that as <laughs> what's cool in kidnapping. 
wow. I, I could be like a member of Team Rocket today. We'd go around and give people swirlies and kidnap their Pokemon and throw mud at them. Uh, and we punch stuff in the face. Yeah, that's why I like Brick Break better. Oh, come on, you can even level from that. TM18, Rain Dance. Uh, we have... We might have enough time to go get... Oh, yeah! We do, we have enough time to go and get, uh... Shadow Ball. We need Shadow Ball. We need Ice Beam too, but we need Shadow Ball first. Uh, we have enough time to heal up. We kinda don't, but... We're going to do it anyways. Alright, and let's go dump all of our money into coins. It's called the Rocket Game Co How would anybody possibly figure out that this place was run by Team Rocket? Of course, we're now essentially funding a crime organization. Knowingly. I do need TM-13, but I need TM-30. Shadow Ball! Yay! So we need 4,000, so we need 80,000 Poké Dollars. We're not anywhere close, even with what I could sell. So, let's just open this. Shadow, A shadowy blob is hurled at the foe. May lower special defense. And Hypno can learn it. And that's going to go in place of Headbutt. Because we're mainly just using Headbutt against Psychic types, and we would be better off using Shadow Ball against them. Okay, so we have our Psychic Killer, which actually resists Psychic. We have our Fighting type. Our flying type, our water and rock type that's going to learn ice beam eventually, and our grass poison type. Yeah, I, I like this team. I want to say I like it better than my last uh, fire red team. So, that is all for me for now. Next time... Or next time, I, I'm out of trainers on those routes to fusion. Next time we actually have to uh, progress with the plot. So I'll see you guys then.